Investigators say they finally solved a mystery that made national headlines over the killing of eight family members in rural Ohio. A husband, wife, and their two adult sons who lived nearby were charged with aggravated murder yesterday. In 2016, almost an entire family was found beaten and shot to death in a small town that's just south of Columbus. David Begno has been following this story since the beginning. David, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora. Eight members of the Roden family were found shot to death inside of four different homes in Pike County, Ohio. Now, shortly after the killings, I spoke with a law enforcement official who told us that there was a marijuana grow operation on the property that the victims lived on. And that drew concerns that the grisly killings could have been the work of a gang or even a cartel hit. But yesterday, when the cops said who the suspects were, people were shocked to find out the suspects are the neighbors. We promised that the day would come when arrests would be made in the Pike County massacres. Today is that day. Ohio's Attorney General Mike DeWine called this investigation into the 2016 murders the longest and most complex in the state's history. On the night of April 22nd, 2016, eight members of the Roden family were killed in four separate locations. They had all been shot in the head, and some of them were killed as they slept. For more than two years, police followed thousands of tips and conducted hundreds of interviews, and the trail eventually led them right to the victim's neighbors, George Wagner III, his wife Angela, along with their two adult sons, George IV, and Edward who's known as Jake. One family conspired, planned, carried out, and then allegedly covered up their violent act to wipe out members of another family. Police say for months leading up to the massacre, the suspects studied the layout of the victims' homes, their routines, even their sleeping patterns. 19-year-old Hannah Roden was killed as she slept next to her five-day-old infant. She had had a daughter and was sharing custody with one of the suspects, 26-year-old Jake Wagner. They did this quickly, coldly, calmly, and very carefully. Police say the Wagner family left behind a trail of evidence, including forged documents. Investigators believe it was an obsessive custody battle that may have played a role in the killings. We are a place that doesn't let cowardly murderers get away with their crimes under the cover of darkness. We should point out the suspects moved to Alaska at one point, and they were interviewed by a local news reporter, and they denied being involved at all. But to, but to think about it, I remember that one woman who died, the young woman, mm -hmm. was sleeping right next to her newborn baby oh. when she was shot and killed in the head, and the baby mm -hmm. was sleeping. And the baby's, baby's father is Correct. one of the suspects. Bingo. It's such a grisly, gruesome story. Thank you, David.